especially when we speak without sense. I ask you uh, happy to welcome you on our event. A big number of our guests proves that open data are very uh, important, not just here in Ukraine, but um, everywhere in the world. We have representatives of uh, the cities here, and uh, we would like to know about your problems and uh, try to r find any solutions. Mm -hmm. We are happy to have analysts here, representatives of uh, mm, mm, NGOs, etc. Now, I would like to invite Paulina, Paulina Sebeshuk to the microphone. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Paulina Sobieszuk, and I represent TechSoup Europe, which is an international organization based in Warsaw, Poland, uh, that focuses on supporting other NGOs, civil society actors, uh, to um, use uh, new technologies for public good. So um, our field of focus are uh, NGOs and, uh, and uh, social activists. Uh, I am here because we had an honor to partner Opora in Apps for Cities Danny Mist Challenge. Uh, which wasn't the first uh, open data app challenge that we've uh, partnered in. Uh, the first one uh, that we had a chance to uh, co-organize was Apps for Warsaw that ended two years ago in the Polish capital. Uh, obviously, as you can probably imagine, uh, open data wasn't in, um, invented in Poland. Uh, before we organized this challenge in Poland, uh, we had researched uh, a lot, a lot of similar initiatives uh, all over the world, especially in the U.S. and uh, Scandinavian countries, other uh, Western European countries. Uh, we got in touch with. Uh, organizations, institutions, and individuals who were involved with the uh, open data movement. Uh, we not only spoke to those people, but we also consulted their documentation, their uh, project reports, and uh, other materials that were available out there. Um, when we uh, analyzed all this gathered material, and together with our partners, we came up with a uh, methodology uh, for Open Data Challenge. So why am I saying all that? Uh, because uh, when we um, started this partnership with Opora and we started working on uh, Danny Mist uh, Open Data Challenge, uh, we weren't reinventing the wheel. Uh, we used uh, the accumulated sum of knowledge that uh, was gathered in open data community uh, worldwide uh, in order to bring the best uh, possible outcome, the best possible result given the circumstances. Uh, this is uh, what we consider uh, the core of um, Mm, replicability, as we call it. So uh, it is a concept that uh, allows you to take from uh, the experiences, take from the knowledge of others uh, who constitute the community you want to be a part of and uh, allow you to build up on that. Uh, it basically means that we are not alone in this planet. We belong to a community of people, of like-minded people, like-minded organizations that uh, wish to work towards a shared aim, which is more openness, more open uh, societies, um, easier access to information, and consequently, uh, stronger democracies. So, um, what it means in practice. How do we uh, make sure that uh, our products, uh, our methodologies, our way of thinking is actually replicable in other places? 
So uh, for social tech projects, for uh, tech solutions, it would be uh, publishing all of your products uh, on open licenses using open code and um, consulting what others do uh, on GitHub and other uh, online repositories. Just not to um, re repeat, not replicate, but exactly repeat their efforts uh, because uh, as we believe there is uh, no time to lose. And apparently there is more and more people who share this approach. Um, for example, in TechSoup for a few years already, uh, we've um, implemented this uh, openness standard. So uh, every product, every report or a piece of uh, code that we publish uh, is available to anyone um, on uh, open licenses. And um, there is more and more uh, organizations and other institutions that share this approach. Uh, hopefully, uh, major donors uh, will soon be among them. And this is uh, well what we are uh, aiming for, uh, talking to donors, uh, because uh, we truly believe that um, well, only uh, openness can save us. So uh, this is my introductory word. Uh, I'll be happy to speak with uh, everyone after the event has finished. Uh, enjoy the rest of it. Thank you. Дуже дякуємо Пауліні. Ми запрошували представників державного агентства. Thank you, Paulina. We invited representatives from the agency of uh, um, state uh, governance, uh, but they are at the governmental um, session, and we hope that they will develop good recommendations from the government during that session. Um, now I would like to... Uh, present our open recommendations about open data policy in your cities. Paulina mentioned about replicability. We also stand for it uh, and uh, implement this. We do not think that we should reinvent uh, the bicycle when we have it uh, available handy. Mm, we build uh, on the organizations which uh, works in the United States. We got an approval from them from Sunlight, um, an agreement uh, to translate uh, their um, uh, recommendations and adapt them to Ukrainian realities. Why we have done uh, this? Uh, because uh, um, many organizations uh, have been working on the open data. They dealt with open data in many uh, locations uh, everywhere. That's why we believe that uh, it is important to to draw this experience and uh, to not to invent this will. So, we encourage all the local councils and uh, all the cities uh, who participate in our initiative. Please uh, share your experience, uh, share the codes, uh, and we encourage uh, all other organizations. There is no sense for each city or town council to develop the same services from scratch and to waste uh, um, resources. If we can share the code and work together with the one app, um, I won't... Uh, discuss in much detail what do we have in these recommendations. You have them in your handouts. Uh, they are very brief. You definitely will be able to, to read them uh, very quickly. I would like to give the floor to Irina Schwarz, who will say a couple of words about what we would like to do in your cities. Irina, I will speak 
I will try to speak slowly, despite my bad habit to speak quickly. Thank you for this opportunity to describe what Apura plans to do uh, in future jointly with the uh, local councils, especially in terms of training uh, in the open data area. The recommendations that were adapted to Ukrainian realities, um, uh, the policy about open data, which will be presented by Nadia Babinska to me, they clearly had shown that uh, in Ukraine at the local Local level governance we lack policies how to work with the open data in general, not to mention open data uh, public policy in Ukraine. That's why local authorities are unable to share um, comprehensive vision how to work with open data, how to uh, create them. Uh, thus, publication of the open data becomes just uh, another um, burden for some local bureaucrats uh, who are responsible for them, uh, just not necessary information who do not use them. We would like to encourage these people to rethink their approach uh, to open data. When we try to design comprehensive training for such people, we're just uh, 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 not describing how to compile a document, uh, uh, electronic document, how to create a file of open data, how to publish it, uh, or to launch a portal at the local level. One of our mm, uh, uh, objectives is to demonstrate why open data are useful when they are presented in open uh, data format. That's why we decided to start this cooperation um, uh, with all the stakeholders. We have measured some progress at the oblast level, but at the lower level, the situation is uh, uh, more complicated. That's why we uh, would like to offer a series of trainings in the Data Academy format, especially for those experts who work in the open data area who will be responsible for this issue in the local authority body. Also, there are not only just uh, uh, members of local governments who, who require this knowledge. Uh, uh, there are uh, local civil societies. Uh, recently, in Ivano-Frankivsk, uh, um, the decision was uh, uh, published about uh, uh, allocation of premises uh, for uh, that um, civil society organization which would deal with open data. Uh, unfortunately, this only demonstrate, and this was almost unnoticed. This shows that civil society organizations are rather uh, weak and uh, that is cooperation with the, uh, between public and local self-government borders uh, uh, could uh, could benefit much from the open data. We will choose our sites for cooperation, and based on the survey, which we will mention later will be able to build a plan required by local bodies on sites and which could be done with support from public. Irina, I would like to add that not just 
data could uh, uh, control local authority. Uh, yeah. And uh, IT yeah. community and uh, civil society can work with local com councils, executive committees, and uh, develop services. And I believe that there is a lot of control, and it is not good, and uh, there is a lack of services. And we should understand that uh, due to open data, we will be able to simplify our lives and lives of officials who work on the committees. We are all citizens. And uh, in this way, we can simplify our lives. I would like to emphasize on this. And now, Nadia is going to tell us about the research. This is our second research. We monitor open data in progress. And uh, next time, we're going to cover more sites, not only oblast centers. Our survey shows, and maybe this is a compliment to Nadia, our research prompted to register the studies and to present information there. And uh, now Nadia Bobinska is going to present our research. Sorry for delay. I attended a meeting for the representatives of IT department. At uh, uh, we discussed uh, issues of open data. That's why we delayed. So now we're going to speak about data of cities and towns. Do we have any prospects and developments in this? And we are going to speak about oblast centers now. We covered 24 uh, 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 oblast centers and. Uh, uh, we researched whether the documents uh, were adopted and provision 835, whether it was uh, implemented and uh, whether they adopted documents uh, and um, to develop open data. Second, we uh, researched the portals, that whether they have proper divisions and sections, and uh, what data is open for the public. And also, we studied uh, the portal uh, where the local government should have registered uh, and uh, provide their information. Also, we broadened the questions and uh, the list of questions. And uh, we wanted to know what solutions are used while working with data, working with information. And also, we were interested about the communication with the community to prioritize and uh, to provide access to data. Our research shows that there is some progress. The cities adopt the documents to implement the provision and publish who is responsible. The responsible are heads of the departments. And uh, also, we should state that compared with the previous research, there were five cities. And in this research, we have 12 towns that have those documents. Then we should state that three cities live in uh, Utah and Odessa. Uh, in the programs of IT development in the cities, they are called uh, differently electronic uh, cities. And uh, uh, the, so the financing for these programs of the development of information and communication technologies, this is a good signal for other towns to get this experience. And in two-thirds of the town, such uh, information programs exist, and this is the opportunity. This is a program and targeted allocation of funds to develop this important field of information and communication technologies. 
Also, it is worth noting that compared with the previous research, more cities have uh, registered studies in the ca uh, in, on sites, and we have f uh, 16 of them. Also, we should state that 10 cities published their data in a format that is not of quality, but in a proper divisions. And uh, there are leaders. We have three portals of open data. Uh, Lviv has it, and Kharkiv and Poltava included. Uh, Lviv does not work uh, with the, uh, this kind of portal of uh, data, but Lviv, on a systemic level, work more and is more oriented to open data. They. Uh, hold hackathons in order to establish what data is of priority, and they publish this data. And uh, this is uh, open data format that is needed for the public. And uh, also Vinitsa has a systemic approach to open data. They have proper documents that are responsible people, and, but, and they implement provision 835. And uh, they established the sets and they implemented, but uh, uh, they cannot be used for some services. And uh, we studied whether they can be used for the services. And uh, some of the towns published data that can be potentially used to create some services. Other towns, Kharkiv. So they have portal and they have uh, um, such um, areas uh, youth and sports, and they don't have any sets to create a map of sports facilities or the list of sports organizations or youth organizations. So the information that can be analyzed by activists who can create such services are based on data. So we have some developments and understanding that provision 835 should be implemented. Uh, some uh, one goes further and they allocate financing and uh, Lviv last week joined uh, the Charter of Open Data. This is an international fi uh, initiative uh, that uh, obliges uh, the a government to uh, implement six principles of open data and we have joined this initiative and it will develop proper plan of actions. I don't know whether it will be for one year or two, maybe for two years. And respectively, this is a serious step. This is international obligations and they will implement these six principles of open data. So we have some steps ahead. Uh, and uh, information is presented, so some data is uh, provided, but those people who analyze the data uh, on the portal of the open data and the, uh, the data provided in, on the sites, we have uh, the idea that the quality is not appropriate. So at the level of departments and uh, at the level of uh, senior specialists, they got accustomed to working in some formats, and they uh, do not have any responsibility to form uh, this in different structure, do it differently. That's why we have a proposal and recommendation that first we should change um, instructions and uh, to uh, that uh, there should be responsible people in the departments, and there should be also a person who is responsible for uh, open data in city uh, at city councils, and also quality of data is of importance. And all the initiatives that are in Ukraine and uh, uh, the, uh, tapas uh, and uh, transparency in uh, uh, state service and gap challenge, these are large initiatives uh, that should help the cities to open data and to create services based on this data. And uh, these initiatives, and uh, uh, they are ready to help cities in this. But we should understand that uh, cities should understand what open data is, why it is important, and why they, they need to structure the data 
and uh, the data should be computerized and to demonstrate political will and the readiness to change because these are changes and the change is a painful process. We should get rid of uh, uh, forms that we got accustomed to and uh, procedures we uh, got accustomed to. And due to information, you can own the world and uh, you can create new opportunities using the data. And uh, the power should provide this data to business, to people, and also uh, the government can benefit from this as well. And also concerning this research, you have uh, this research, so there are there is analysis on each uh, of each of the city in order to understand the overall picture. The majority of the responses we got uh, scanned. We asked information solutions, technical solutions in the cities, and they were provided in a scanned form, for example, a table, and uh, they all have pro uh, programs that they use, and uh, everything was provided in a scanned form. Also, we have many uh, concerns about the openness because some towns uh, didn't want to present information. They used that. Uh, they said that this information is only uh, for uh, their own purposes and didn't want to make it public. So Irina told us about it already. So we have a lot of work ahead. Together, maybe you think we want to teach you how to do things, but we only we are all only learning and the Ukrainian towns, they only start their activity in the area of open data and the elaboration of the standards, the elaboration of those principles of work is important work and we should start and um, uh, we had a meeting with IT experts on today and uh, we spoke about the platforms on which the portals of open data be created and we spoke about the needs of the towns and the issues of standardization of the information and the issues of identification of those who are responsible. This is the main issue. Those recommendations you were provided with, uh, we try to systemize our opinions and uh, provide our understanding of what should be the policy on open data. And we believe that there will be sets of documents elaborated in order that city councils were able to adopt decisions and have some samples of documents to take decisions and to have some ready-made procedures, instructions, and provisions in order to start this process of the development of open data on a more qu higher quality level. You can ask questions. I don't want to go into detail. We have leaders. These are Poltava, Lviv, Vinitsa, Poltava, Kharkiv, Adis, Lutsk. Each city is the leader in its own area, some in the development of the policy and quality of data, someone is the leader in the communication with the public. For example, Lutsk, they ask on their side, and what data do you want? Let's form this data together. This is a good approach, in my opinion. And someone even uh, carried out an audit of the data, not data, but information systems. And the question, no one carried out audit of data. So there are some registers that are made by each department, but there is not audit of data, quality of data research. But some cities plan to do this in 2017, if they correctly understood our question. So I'm ready to answer your question. So this research, maybe it is alive. So maybe something changed. So we may consider all recommendations you can address through our site. Thank you, Nadia. She stated the fact that and maybe uh, when I get up and uh, I always 
think that you cannot hack democracy and you cannot open uh, data with provision uh, 835. Uh, so we give the floor to Alexander in order to speak about uh, open data and um, publicity. And uh, we believe that uh, this is parallel to z and they uh, made first steps in those cities. And the most Im interesting thing that in research of Alexander, that they made the each uh, that they carry out each year. Uh, the first places are taken by other cities and towns. So this is interesting, Alexander. Uh, uh, what about the time I have? Ten minutes. Thank you. I believe that uh, we can speak about open data uh, concerning. Uh, publicity, and I would like to s say about the challenges, about the challenges we face in the course of this research. For the fourth year, we carry out uh, the uh, publicity in the cities, uh, in the uh, cities that are centers of oblasts, and uh, this is not only access to public information, but this is making all the information public concerning uh, finance uh, policy uh, strategies and plans implementation information about officials and regulatory policy and the construction policy budgets so more than 200 indicators are included in the research and according to the results of this annual research uh, we create a rating of the cities that are the most public so uh, the leaders are the same they change places, but these are five cities in the front, Kivsk, Lutsk, Vinitsa, Kiev, Lviv. Sometimes it goes into this five or it leaves this uh, first five. So these are the city's leaders. And what does this, sh uh, what it means? It means that the city adheres to the norm and uh, or it, they demonstrate some practices concerning making information public because uh, publicity we discuss also includes the opportunity to attend some meetings and uh, we can respond to the situation. We can see the changes in the legislation concerning publicity, and we integrate all those issues, and they all have different load. So we try to add new questions. So we have our own methodology how to do this. So the cities are uh, on the equal position when we compare them. So in 2016, we added 20 questions out of uh, uh, so uh, the, uh, the questions concerning open data were added. And uh, the first thing we faced and the trend through the years was we monitor uh, whether they make information public, we assess our um, uh, uh, executive bodies, uh, heads of the councils, and the deputies. And uh, it shows the overall uh, openness of uh, municipalities. And the uh, deputies, if we may say so, they, are, they have less responsible attitude uh, towards making things public than, for example, the city heads. So this uh, was the, mm, the burden that uh, uh, drew them lower. So we had a trend throughout the years that executive bodies demonstrated uh, most of openness, and uh, they have clear indicators, procedural indicators to make information public. For example, concerning access to uh, public information, functioning of centers of provision of uh, services through the site, or uh, also uh, public discussions. And uh, they have clear 
indicators and uh, they demonstrated more openness. The deputies and city heads and deputies even less. The uh, responsibilities are too vague. It is stated that they should communicate with the public, but we do not know about clear indicators. So this is an open question, and this trend was throughout the years, and now there is a, a set of questions about open data. I will show you this on the graph, and uh, uh, executive bodies now uh, had, uh, they decreased a little bit, they had some growth previously, and now the level of openness is less than it was pre in, du uh, during previous year. But before this, there was positive dynamics. So we had a set of ish, uh, questions and uh, uh, about open data and executive bodies could not react properly on this legislative trend. Uh, so uh, they cannot, uh, they were not able to meet this requirements. And uh, there is some problem with opening. They do not want to answer to requests, but there is more openness, actually. And uh, there was law on the openness of public information. It states that the uh, budget and finance information should be made public, and only in the Cabinet of uh, Ministers' provision, they established uh, uh, categories of information. Uh, so, uh, so previously, they didn't state it in the law. So the local governments, they made this information public, and now there is more openness concerning this information. But this is not open data. But open data, we don't have this at the moment. So in this part of their responsibility, the local governments failed. But let's be realistic. And maybe our discussions is for uh, for this for being realistic to publish some, uh, for example, to publish something in a foreign language. Open data is the issue of uh, it, it is something like a Chinese language. So people uh, should understand. They should be ready and able to meet this requirement. So we have already uh, spoken about training and short-term decisions to train people who are responsible for creating services uh, to uh, produce this open data in short-term uh, prospect. This will work. But the key problem is that uh, this uh, middle and lower uh, link that produces data, create solutions, and uh, uh, gather information, and create stable. Those people who work in these departments, they create this data in formats that uh, they used before. And um, those responsible in IT departments and in other structures that will have enough knowledge and competences, they will be able to translate what these officials of uh, middle and uh, lower level um, do, and uh, they will be able to uh, create new, new formats. But uh, the issue is that the information that was produced, it shouldn't be translated. It should be made in the form uh, to make it to public easily on the portals and services where we want to do it. I will stop at that. And uh, maybe we will go to questions. And so, thank you very much. And Valentin asked me to speak. So, can we move on? I am very happy to Okay, I ask Alena to join us, and Vladimir. Is he present? Я знаю, що тут мав бути And maybe here, uh, Mirgarad the uh, city head is present here today. Would you please join us? 
Добре, дякую. Якщо у вас будуть запитання, давайте, напевно, я візьму мікрофон і буду так трошечки модерувати. Я би хотіла зараз надати слово на... I would like to give the floor to Sergei Kirillin. They worked with open budgets in the series. What problems did they face while introducing this? Thank you. All the time during the week, we work with finance information of these cities. And I see in this hall our partners who always, uh, also use the service. What can I say? First, I'm grateful to people who work in the city councils and executive bodies who deal with openness and uh, help us as partners to reveal our problems in our software and uh, they test our software. We are open, we are in GitHub and uh, we, uh, our open code can be tested by everyone and you can work on it and you can join as a programmer you can join our work, and we are not self-financed, and uh, we uh, carry the burden. And two analysts and managers and four uh, programmers who work to improve the system and help the cities to uh, show information in good quality. And we speak about open data, but uh, not a lot of people understand uh, why it is needed. And this is the question that is asked by local government and uh, by people who are not experts on IT. My answer is simple. For those who don't know, I recommend the organization Sunlight Foundation in the USA, in Ukraine, in 2011. A book was published, Open Governance, supported by Renaissance Foundation, and I recommend to read this book to all those who deal with technologies uh, in the uh, regional governmental bodies and in order to understand that open data is not standard in the world and everyone underwent uh, the analysis information, collection information use, and in some cases, uh, some reje uh, someone rejected open data. Also, there is political opposition because not everyone wants to open data. The access to information in itself, it gave rise to the development of such big countries in France and the Netherlands and Sweden. And when it happened, the development of democracy in these countries in time came to a revolution that changed the quality of life in these countries and the quality of governance. Usually, they think Soviet-style, when the power is in one hand and no one else takes part in governance. Because usually people who are outside the walls of uh, city councils, uh, they are stupid, and those who are outside, they believe that those who work in power, everything is bribed, and no one can influence the situation. These are myths that were destroyed uh, during Maidan, and uh, those who took part actively in uh, um, in 2011, the law was adopted on public information, and I believe that uh, uh, there should be quality uh, rise in our country, despite the war, we should do it. And uh, when we open data, we give access to information to those people who now are not near. So those are students 
or some experts on economics or finance, managers, everyone, even unexpectedly, ecologists now analyze information that uh, uh, is not of their concern, but this is the matter when uh, sometimes people are interested in data, they are not uh, professionals in, but the, this data is needed for professional decisions. The decisions should be uh, uh, taken based on data. If data shows that there is a correlation, so it should be used properly and it should be done uh, by means of mathematics. Mathematics is the king of sciences and it works always. And uh, well, there was a renowned article about the elections in the United States and uh, analysts fought among themselves. And uh, uh, those who used uh, modern models of analyzing data, one, they analyzed Facebook, they uh, saw the opinion of people, and the chief candidate, uh, he said what people wanted to hear. Whether it was good for the country, future will show. And uh, what should we show? This is uh, uh, data, statistical data, and I hope that this wall will be dismantled and we will show administrative statistics of the city that should be made public. And then we will be able to analyze whether these uh, city councils are efficient. And for you, as representatives of uh, local government to reduce, you have tasks to uh, reduce the number of personnel, but one department should not be reduced uh, in uh, uh, personnel or salary. This is IT department because this is our future. You should understand it clearly. And I wish everyone success and uh, to allocate the budgets for this spending for these departments and they will be able to analyze data for you and uh, everything that can be calculated using the computer not calculator or some dev other devices so in future this will help you to take more quality decisions i would ask uh, olena genko to speak and you know that in Ukraine this is a great story of success so without millions they started portals and uh, this is this was done really greatly I will try to do this this project this is my child, I have one portal that was launched. Yes, I have many children, I have many projects. And uh, big data ma mom, they called me. I have a choke document like this. So I can speak about this a lot. So, so stop me and interrupt me if I'm speaking too long. The first issue, I am a representative of, uh, uh, is everyone a representative of executive committee? Thank you. So maybe the first thing I wanted to say, whether you have a portal program, open data on site in every format, no matter on what stage you are. The first thing I wanted to say, you shouldn't be afraid of provision 835. It is not ideal. And I think that this process that is ongoing, this is a wave that will continue and this provision will be updated and maybe some additional recommendations will be provided on the set of data. So this uh, uh, this is important for local government. What is behind those words, behind those provisions? So you can try to understand uh, uh, what 
it says, but, but by joint effort, we can simplify the process. First, you shouldn't be afraid of it. Everything can be, can be overcome. Second, uh, the projects that we implemented, so it wouldn't be fair to say that it costs nothing. Of course, there are some expenditures, hosting, for example, different technical things that need spending, but they are not big. These are not hundred thousand or millions of grievances. So I won't say how much hosting cost because when I come home, people from communal enterprises will laugh on me. Maybe, maybe they will laugh. I'm not a technician. Sometimes I say that I am a humanitarian, but now I know more about technical things. It doesn't need a lot of money. There are open codes, CCAN, our portal work with the others. So I look through this manual you presented, um, the all instructions are present, all the links are added. The code is open and there is instruction how to adapt it in a way in order to do it. And uh, this process took about several months, I believe, about maybe starting July this year. We revived this, our portal. It was starting April, but we revealed several errors, technical errors in it, and it was easier to close the um, portal and then make it anew than to understand where the error is. That's why we took decision to forget about the first one and start the new. The design was uh, just uh, presented to us, and I'm thankful to the designer, Oleg. If you hear us and see us, this is a great job. And due to the expert community that was formed in Lviv, we have design. And uh, this portal started its work as a technical solution, as a big storage of data structured in some way, structured in a way how you want it. You can change it as you like it. Mm, probably that's it. The biggest work uh, that we have to do now, uh, collection of all the data, all the sufferings when you try to collect them and organize properly. We have a decision from the mayor about open data portal, about those who have to administer it, about the content. Uh, it is based on the uh, CMU resolution, there is a reference about public information law, about all the resolutions of the Cabinet of Ministers, but it also contains uh, some provisions appealing to the data holders, uh, data owners, uh, uh, offering to submit open data to me if they wish them to be published. And uh, when we just published uh, that uh, we have launched uh, the portal, uh, um, immediately the telephone has started to ring continuously. Uh, People kept asking how to submit data, how to um, open the personal cabinet, etc. Uh, well, we have ju we are just two people, me and my IT expert uh, who who deals with open data. That is my message again. It's not expensive. It is not overcomplicated, and it does not 
take uh, too much time. Actually, for us, it took time just from July to end of the year. That is six months. And you should not be afraid of uh, civil society organizations and broad public who m may assist you even. Of course, uh, there are different uh, civil society organizations which may um, scream that you are traitors, that everything is very bad, etc. But there are some which are more adequate, which are uh, very um, supportive and uh, collaborative and uh, at the end of the year, uh, usually the civil society organizations uh, come to us uh, to assess our work. Uh, And uh, such an assessment, public assessment, uh, uh, um, creates competition. It's just another push to uh, uh, to competition with other uh, organizations, just like in the market. Of course, we do not compete from the for the state budget. Uh, uh, money, but uh, e in general, this is competition for the image. And I would like to add about uh, the keys to success. You need to have a strong team working exclusively on this project. Uh, I can imagine the ordinary work of the executive uh, committee, bureaucrat. Uh, this is a daily routine. Uh, and just imagine that this routine is uh, accompanied with uh, uh, some new resolutions uh, coming from the central um, level, and then civil society organizations come and wish something in terms of open data. And if you are not a driver of this process, uh, but when you are not a driver of this reform, but uh, when people spend just 20 or 30 years in the executive council as bureaucrats, they look at you as a, at a young girl and uh, which is willing to uh, turn uh, the earth upside down. Uh, please do not take this as uh, a, a call to Five people know. Uh, I have good friends who are devoted and experienced members of the city council. So good team, it is the key. It should not be very big. You need not have a, a person responsible for each set of data. We are three, we have a team of three. We started to work, uh, we start just on January 1st as a separate structural team. Before that, we worked in different departments. Uh, I came from analysis department. I'm a sociologist. Uh, I carried out uh, sociological research for a uh, service for almost three 
uh, excuse me, six years, but then I found out that you need not ask questions to people, but uh, you can simply draw information from other sources and uh, came to this project. Our portal is uh, in the internet. Having reviewed the report which was presented today, I found out that we improved uh, much during last year's uh, Find Us on website. We, ha we are at the open data portal of Lviv City. You will find our contact details there, and you can seek from us a piece of advice or possible assistance. We are happy to do this. I think that the, the more portals we have in the country, the more useful it, was, it will be for broad public. Mm, about national portal, why we do not have Lviv on that national portal? I uh, searched uh, the national portal and found out that there is uh, a lot of uh, information and it is designed for ministries, for national agencies, uh, for oblast state administrations. Maybe we will uh, open our uh, own cabinet uh, on the national portal. But uh, uh, just in order to make link to our portal, mm. of course, it's not a problem to uh, just uh, copy paste all our data from our portal to the uh, data com UA. But I promise you, we will open our portal. Now I would like to ask our guests to listen to Andrei Gazin, who will uh, describe in more detail about data. You are a journalist, Andrei. Can you share your experience about data? I will be very con brief. If I uh, I had a chance to read the Opura report well in advance, I should say it is a very depressive reading, uh, although it is very much needed, but it reflects the rather grave situation uh, which exists as of today. Nadia can say that the, some progress had been reached, but uh, um, uh, it, uh, you have a chance to analyze the developments you feel discontent, of course. And on the other hand, uh, all our people working in the open data had shifted focus from the general national level to the um, local level. Here I speak about TAPAS project, which next month will start trainings for the trainers in open data. Uh, then a Kiev Center for Social Data will deliver trainings on open data among uh, 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 local civil servants in the regions. Uh, also, I'm speaking about EGAP, which more and more starts to work in the cities. So all this report is uh, important for all the initiatives working at the uh, local level because it sets uh, the scene, it poses uh, the tasks, uh, and uh, it uh, 
uh, covers the need in training. It's more about training than about journalism. I think it uh, may uh, contribute to fi final uh, fine tuning of the current training programs for or uh, for trainings for trainers uh, uh, and agents of changes in the regions. From journalist point of view, it's. clear that uh, uh, data journalists are more interested at the uh, open data at national level, that is data covering or reflecting situation in the whole country. Of course, data always uh, formed at the national level then could be uh, uh, generalized at the local level. And when the data are collected in the region, they are collected differently in different regions. Uh, and of course, it is uh, good when this method is uh, somehow uh, standardized. So we have to shape this uh, standards and uh, um, to apply them. I'm uh, very grateful to Opora for this report. It is useful. Now I would like to give the floor to Vitali, deputy head of the Rivne, deputy mayor from Rivne, to start our discussion to which extend open data are useful for the cities and what obstacles do they have i do not i'm not sure how the open data are used by the cities because uh, i'm just freshly appointed at the end of last year and i can speak about the governance uh, we have uh, reach some achievements in the electronic governance. So we managed to uh, introduce register of the local community, and uh, also we we are of, we have the register of lo now our local community in uh, uh, electronic form. In the future, we will be able, based on this register, to apply smart city technology. In March this year, we plan to uh, to start our uh, Rivne uh, citizen card project, that is to issue cards for our citizens. Uh, we are able uh, to do this. We have a powerful center for administrative purposes. We have good facilities yeah. and we are able to provide services to 2,000 people per day. Mm, so we are able to carry out all sorts of surveys to collect a lot of data. We have five uh, members of our team who are ready to work in this area. Unfortunately, statistics is not very encouraging as of today, but this only opens more space for perfection and uh, Uh, now we are in Kiev attending an event of the State Agency on Electronic Governance and uh, uh, we are ready to offer Rivne as a venue for the um, project uh, which will combine creation of the local community register and application of the smart city apps. 
We have uh, good uh, MPs in our city council. They support our initiatives. Because in some cities, uh, it's uh, difficult to promote uh, um, initiatives because of resistance from lo local council in Rivne. It's not the subject. I have a comment. Quite often we speak about electronic democracy, about uh, servers, about uh, smart cities, but not always this provides for um, open data or, or, for example, open budgets. We have the city cards uh, for different um, um, services. Uh, we have the city panel uh, uh, um, uh, platform in view, but you cannot uh, download this information. So I encourage you open data to have open data by, by default. Uh, uh, when civil society organizations plan to collect some data for citizens, uh, allow uh, other users to download them and to reproduce them. This is the main fundamental principle of open data. Um, uh, the use of the free use of this data, even for commercial purposes. I cannot find your survey findings on your website. We will download it jointly with the pre together with the press release. I could you please describe in more detail the situation with open data in Kiev. We have a website. Uh, we have the Kiev city budget on website, but it is in PDF format, and you cannot use it. When we speak about Kiev, in Kiev we have smart uh, city platform which uh, works perfectly. But when you look at the budget, it is in PDF format also. The services are based on some data, but we do not have that data. Here we have the issue of definitions. What the openness of information means the open data. In Kiev, there is the equality sign between them, which means that PDF city budget uh, is uh, meant to be the open data. But it's not like this. As far as I know, now city council has been working on the uh, special document. setting the rules about uh, open data. I r mentioned uh, the leaders among open data, and Kiev is not one of these uh, cities. About publicity, publicity also is not always equal to open data. You can publicize any information, but you cannot use, but I cannot use it uh, uh, as an analyst uh, uh, for example, the list of training institutions cannot be just uh, copy pasted to our survey. We had to re um, retype it in another format. Further questions? I would like to mention that Kiev is the only city that carried out the audit of informational cities, but due to the events of from 2013-2014, the results of that audit disappeared. 
Nadia can we download your uh, risk uh, findings from your survey in op from open data interesting question of course we have our findings in tables we worked in Google and we will discuss it with Ruslana this is uh, analytical text We, Ruslana and me, we will discuss uh, how this could be presented in best uh, way. Uh, we will publish uh, the survey and website with uh, hyperlinks uh, on the local uh, city portals. Uh, uh, we analyze the regulations of the cities. They do not mention open data. They mentioned information communication technologies, but uh, uh, not open data. And we'll also discuss with Ruslan about tables, labels, etc. But last year, when we carried out previous research, we produced both label and made a, a link to Google Doc. Uh, we published it and uh, made it different ways. This for your question, Kharkiv public information um, about audit. Could you describe more about audit? How it should be carried out and what are the criteria? There is rather primitive form of audit. What set of data you wish to have? Who is responsible? Who, uh, who, who, how it should look like? Sometimes it is even in handwriting. Once I saw a budget, past part of the budget program with the. Uh, hand um, handwriting corrections and it is scanned uh, with with handwriting corrections it is presented on the website you should understand who is responsible for printing uh, another thing is the international audit open data readiness assessment uh, it means that uh, public sector and uh, uh, public agencies are audited against their readiness to to deal with the open data. In Chernivtsi, we had developed our own tool, just a table to a checklist to check readiness. Um, then. We have all sorts of data about which we do not simply remember. I would like to add about audit. The audit uh, of central uh, agencies was started last year. Well, this year, the state agency on electronic governance had developed a big questionnaire which it disseminated among the ministries and central agencies where they asked questions about each set of data. There were some, like 30 questions in it. In what format the data are collected, with whom, uh, the information is exchanged. Um, currently, the state agency on electronic governance tries uh, to sum up uh, this audit, this questionnaires, and to understand uh, what data are available and how the registers function. In order to prevent multiple methodologies, how to collect and create and present data, let us wait for the findings of the state agency on electronic governance and uh, they will uh, mm, 
recommend about uh, additional options which you will be able to add uh, to your existing system. So approach to Alexei from the state agency and he will share his uh, opinion with you about the audit. The audit goes in parallel and gradually and even unofficially. Uh, in course of audit, we found out uh, the uh, uh, following saying, we deliver services. Which services uh, 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 and uh, I ask the question, um, what do you, ha what services do you have? How we can present uh, them? And I understood that audit would not work with those people. So we do this audit in parallel with our regular work. The structure of the data in course of your audit depends on what information you get from uh, civil servants. And in course of doing this, we are like a first filter of information what should be presented on website. For example, recently, City Council issued a resolution about a reporting from the uh, municipal companies and utility companies. We have more than 100 of them. And uh, this would mean 100 of uh, portals, uh, uh, 100 of uh, personal cabinets on our portal. So we decided to filter them somehow. We requested uh, them uh, to provide us with information, uh, to organize this information properly and uh, uh, explain them how to add later to, and to upgrade that information. Mm -hmm. I found out that uh, Opening personal cabinet for such an uh, for each uh, utility company uh, will not be a solution. They again will present information in uh, PDF, etc. This again brings us back to a separate team that should exist and sh which should work on the open data. Mm. And we represent uh, um, different uh, areas of knowledge, sociology, political studies, and IT. I believe that that, uh, that we have to uh, process uh, information, raw information, which we get in order to prevent uh, that PDF. We quite often speak about European experience, European movements, etc. I am Olena. I am from ITA Severodonetsk TV channel. What about Severodonetsk, where we do not have any uh, open data? Policy in Severodonetsk is very honest city. They uh, very honestly said uh, we have no uh, open data policy. Probably they know quite well what open data is. That's why they do not take any commitments. 
but actually they have structured information. They have databases, but they in the, they provided us with that structured information, but they do not publish uh, it on website. Um, uh, w we suggest uh, at least to create a link. Uh, Severodonetsk openly said we do not have policy, we do not have any regulations about this, we do not have any electronic cabinet. I like this very open uh, position, but the uh, city council stated that they are ready to cooperate. But unfortunately, the website of the city, Severodonetsk City Council is uh, very uninformative, not informative, uh, both for local community and businesses. Actually, this is a good starting point uh, uh, because they are ready to cooperate. Some some cities say, why do we need to do anything? Why do we need any regulations? Any, why do we need any policy? We are happy with the Cabinet of Ministers uh, resolution. That's why I think that uh, Severodonetsk is uh, open when it states that they have nothing. But at least we know the temperature of this uh, hospital patient, and we know what to do with this hospital patient. Everywhere in the world, especially in the United States, open data were launched by civil society. When civil society approached to the city authorities and requested information about pensions, they were given uh, uh, bulks of papers and uh, um, uh, they downloaded everything and presented everything in uh, electronic format. So, with Severodonetsk, the issue is that civil society there should make uh, a step and start to do something. Mr. Karelin would like to add. I would like to mention my cooperation with the Donetsk City Council, which now functions as a civil and military uh, uh, administration. I have no uh, questions to the experts working in those uh, uh, administrations, but uh, I have a question to the local head. Uh, of administration. There is a lot of politics uh, uh, and uh, um, they are lagging behind. Uh, the same is true about uh, um, the leadership because the local civil and military administration heads change too often and the the situation um, does not develop in a positive direction there is more about politics uh, than about uh, uh, policy about open data. They are not thinking about, for example, hospital, third category hospital, which is uh, so much uh, mm, uh, so much needed in Luhansk Oblast, uh, uh, but uh, uh, civil society should uh, uh, make pressure on the politicians in order to develop the policy. Before launching the portal of open data, we 
launched uh, the contest of services based on open data. In the world, uh, open data are published first, uh, then the um, portals are created. While here in Ukraine, we have to form portals first and then create uh, open data. We have to create services and uh, then to shape down the political will. Maybe you have uh, further questions. Good afternoon. What about the situation with open data in Kiev Oblast? What are the advantages, benefits, <laughs> and what is going to be? And maybe local government implemented some projects. How it worked? The most surprising thing when we sent in invitations to local councils and happened so that the most active councils are in Kiev Oblast and they phoned and tell us and they asked how to register a cabinet at state portal and uh, I believe that in Kiev Oblast and throughout Ukraine maybe there should be consultations with the local councils how to do it. And we've discussed it already. Uh, they uh, came from Borispol, uh, Periaslav, and uh, Boguslav, Bela Tsarkva. And we were surprised that uh, towns in Kiev Oblast are really active and they to do, want to do something. But our research was about uh, 24 regional centers. We didn't study the situation in uh, 100 plus uh, towns. So the agency will focus its work on um, cities with a population more than 100,000 people. And, uh, the experience will be shared and uh, cooperation with the uh, uh, local governments uh, through initiatives and the uh, help of international partners in order to develop open data in small towns in the Karpatsky region. Um, they work perfectly with open data, but the focus is regional centers. I would like to add in the framework of our project, who is more open. So these are small towns and uh, they attempt to be the best. It needs separate attention. Lviv Oblast, they are most active. But I cannot say that in other oblasts, towns are not active. And uh, in Kiev region, they have different problem. They have Kiev close. So Kiev attracts more attention. But they work locally and they work and they work is of high quality and I thank them for their work in 2015 when there was local were local elections the situation was changed and 60 percent of local councils changed and political will uh, was more prominent and uh, this is about small cities small towns and the Lviv Oblast I would like to focus on it when they changed local councils and uh, new mayor's offices show quality work and uh, all the power it was shocked because in a year they did more than they were not able to do in tens of years that's why you should pay close attention to small towns because there are many miracles that can surprise you. Do you have other questions or comments? Yes. Vladimir Savitsky, advisor to Mukachevo town had. Uh, so what are the expectations from this portal you launched? 
I mean transparency, accessibility, we understand this. But what about the budget? Do you ask about my expectations or the expectations of the public? What data is present that business can study and say, for example, that we are interested and we are ready to invest? You mean that business should invest in city council, in the Lviv town, the best is that they should pay taxes, first of all. This will be the best for the local budget. I'm convinced of this. So they should pay this. As to portal, if I'm not mistaken, there are uh, 47 sets of data. You can multiply it by two because, uh, because there are XLS and uh, uh, format and the expectations, my positive expectations. We have publication of data until May, week by week, I know what we are going to do. These are different sets of data. Especially people are interested uh, about the data on communal property. And uh, we met with the representatives of the Department of Communal Services, and they will provide data to us. And uh, uh, we will have this data soon. And uh, on the portal, not uh, all information is present that was provided in 2016. Because, you know, there are financial reports uh, and uh, the report on a budget uh, of 2016 will be provided soon on the portal. But we have reports of communal enterprises uh, 2015, and soon we will have on t in 2016. And the budget reports 2015 are present, and uh, soon we will get 2016 reports, and also budget holders uh, uh, data, and uh, uh, the first order, and also there is a uh, code, a universal key to a large scope of data, and using this um, in our portal, and uh, uh, going to Prezoro and Data Go UA, you can get a lot of information, and Sergey can confirm this. There is a special analytical department that can analyze this data. So we can earn money for the city, and next, what I can say, what we are working at. Uh, GFS real uh, GPS tracking on public transport, and uh, this is done in Lviv. They have these systems, and uh, we test our internal system of this tracking, and it will go to application developers. They will develop applications for the comfortable use of transport, not only Ukrainian developers, but also ready-made software applications that are developed abroad. And they download it, and then a tourist from any country of the world can come to uh, Lviv and can comfortably go and he knows where and uh, by means of what transport they can go. So this is, it can simplify lives to our residents, to tourists that would bring benefit. I'm sorry, but we have to stop. Our time is over. We thank our partner, Ukraine Crisis Media Center, for this opportunity to hold such events. And uh, 
we can communicate further off records. Thank you very much and goodbye.